If you want to make $30 every day in the market trading boom and crash, then you need to watch this video. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to share with you a simple boom and crash strategy that I've been using to scalp boom and crash and make money in the market. By the way, if you want to know which broker I'm using to be able to trade boom and crash and other synthetic indices, I will leave the link in the description below. So this strategy is very simple to use. You are going to use only two indicators. And on this strategy, we are going to be scalping these small tick candles on a five-minute time frame. Okay. So the first thing you want to go to the five-minute time frame. So you click on your chart, you go to the five-minute time frame. When you go to the five-minute time frame, the next thing that I want you to do is zoom out your charts like this. You need to zoom out your charts like this so that you have the smallest charts possible on your chart. Once you do that, you want to zoom out once, right? So you do this. You zoom out once, you zoom out for the second time so that you get the second zoom level, okay? The second zoom level. This zoom level is going to help you to read these indicators and make sure that they don't repaint on you, okay? Now, let's talk about what these indicators are and when are you going to be buying, when are you going to be selling? But first of all, let's talk about which instruments to trade this. First, you want to trade this only on Boom 1000 and Crash 1000. Forget about all other Boom and Crash markets. Just go for Boom 1000 and Crash 1000. Why? Because the tick candles on these instruments are more uh, as compared to the on smaller boom and crash like boom 300 crash 300 why because on average you have a spike after every 1000 ticks on boom and crash 1000 okay and then oh, if you if you go for lower boom and crash pairs that means on average you are going to be having a spike after every 300 ticks so there's going to be a lot of spikes so if you are scalping these small tick candles you are probably going to be losing money in a long term okay so now you want to go to boom 1000 or crash 1000. Now, when you go there, you want to go to indicators, right? The first indicator that you are going to put is the, the relative strength index, right? You go to the relative strength index and you want to go period 14, uh, apply close, right? Uh, you want to make sure that your style, right? If you go to the style, you want to make sure that this color right here, right, is the same as your background color because we don't want to see this uh the the rsi uh the rsi line we only want to see um the the levels right so for the levels you are going to put uh level 15 and level 85 right and uh on time frame we use five minute time frame but here you just set it like that and then you click save right when you save this right the next thing that you are going to do uh, is go again on indicator window one and add a moving average, right? When, when you add a moving average on this, you want to put period five, you want to put a uh, method to exponential and then apply, this is very important, apply to weighted close, right? And put any color that you want, right? And then you click save, right? Once you save that, you are going to see that on the bottom here, we have the RSI, which have only the zones and then we have uh, the moving averages which is going above the zone of the rsi and below the zone of the rsi now when you are when you are moving this you are going to see that uh, it looks like it's repainting right if you look at this you are going to see that at this point right uh, the, the 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 rsi uh, was the moving average was above here but if i if i start moving it right there you are going to see that now it's not above the uh the, the 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 rsi right so how do you solve this problem okay so this problem the best way you can solve it right is to go to zoom level number two as i said and then make sure you go you, with your chart like this right you want to make sure that this last candle is on the center of this screen or it leaves some space here right so this is important this is uh what helps me to make sure that i don't have the the market repainting right now let me show you how to buy and how to sell now on the boom 1000 okay you want to make sure that you are selling only when there is two candles right we don't want to ignore the spikes so in this case our trade would come right here so you want to make sure that this moving average goes above level 85 which happens around here right this is it 
right and then it it drops into the zone which is somewhere around here right and on the on this market on the on the chart it's around here right so let's make it clean so here is why when, when it happened and here is when it happened right so this is where when it drops below this is when you want to sell right you don't put your stop loss because it's not going to be respected so if you put a sale and then there's a spike just close the trade right and then if it goes into the into the downside right you want to hold it right so you want to hold it until if you are using the minimum lot size you want to hold it uh you want to place like so when you are placing these trades you can place one bigger trade or you can place uh like five five trades on a lower lot size like what i did uh, on the example that i showed you right if you do that that means uh only a few candles that comes you can make like 10 15 dollars 20 dollars 30 dollars and then you close that trade you don't want to be greedy you don't want to be taking 20 30 of this even though most of the time when this happens you are going to get a lot of these small tick candles but you don't want to be taking a lot of them you want to probably take like five to ten of these small tick candles right so let me show you another example right here right you can see on this case again market went above right here and then we have a big drop from that right so i don't know if this is a glitch uh, on this market or if if, if this is something uh that just happens but for as i'm recording this video as i'm sharing with you this strategy it's working so make sure you can go out there and place your trades right so if if you can if you can look at this you can see all this time the market was pushing to the downside right so the market here it, you could have sold and then here it was also outside because it repainted here so it was some somewhere around here this were all your chances to sell uh in this market so if i do this again so you see that when i'm moving here it, it repaints but if i just if i just go to them as i showed you here if i just go here and leave it like this right it will move right and it will go all the way up or all the way down for example if this was crash right the, uh, right here you can see the market is below and we're just waiting right so there's no repaint because i'm not moving the charts we're just waiting for the market to to push up again and go back into this zone and if it does we are going to be buying okay so this is boom 1000 let's move to crash 1000 and let me show you how you do so on boom you will be selling on crash you will be buying right so this is an example here the market pushed up around this point above this zone and then you could have buy here you would have bought here so place your buy trades here and expect prices to push to the upside right here is another example the market went down and then here it went up which was around this zone and then you can see a series of small t candles going up here again which was this zone it goes up about seven candles and then a spike came right so this is how you'll be trading it's very easy here you can see here the market breaks to the upside and then that's when you are looking to buy and expect prices to go to the upside right if you want to learn more about these strategies about how to trade boom and crash make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video and if you want to get trading signals setups and ideas you can click the link in the description below